Hey, it's Macro, and um, it's about 9 o'clock at night, and I got my uh, Maker Select Plus print, or, um, yeah, it's a Maker Select Plus printer from uh, Monoprice, which is a rebranded um, 3P, I think, or 3I from, I want to say it's One How. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But uh, it's here in pieces, so let's take a look. So here's the build platform. You can see the test print is still adhered. Looks pretty good. Um, here's the tower part. So it's just a block of foam. And then we've got an accessories kit, which comes with a bunch of these little hex bolts or hex screws and um, Allen wrenches, spool holder. And uh, here we go building. All right, so hardest thing so far was getting this. It's a really tight fit through here. I did it by grabbing onto these pieces and then pushing like like that against the body of the printer. So what we're going to have to do is line up. I don't know if you can see them here. Let me turn the brightness up. There's two screw holes here, and they're going to line up with similar holes on the tower. And one of them you screw in from the outside, and the other one I, well, I think on the old design you did it from underneath, but it looks like they're both on the same side now. So they both screw in from out here. The, the manual had you tip it on its side and do one from underneath, but that's probably the um, non-plus design. And then once everything's in there, there's ribbon cables labeled A through, I think, E or F, and those all need hooked up. Okay, so I got the screw here and the one back here in. And the way I did that is I took the whole frame and sat it on its side. And you might want to have somebody help you and hold this so it doesn't flop over. But it's way easier to thread these vertically down in um, than to try and do them in from the side. All right, we got A, B, uh, where's C? C, D, it's a little power connector. I think it might be the end stop switch. I'm not sure, certain. E. So I think that's all our cabling. This looks like it'll stay flat. This look, this over here looks a little worrisome to me. Like <clears throat> I know this one's gonna have to travel up and down, but I feel like the potential for it to get over here and get in the way is there. So we may need to do a flex cable chain or something. Print. Um, there's a master on off back here. I'm sure a lot of people have gone, it doesn't work, and not known that that's there. They're like trying to use the touch screen. <clears throat> so, this thing is rigid. Um, I'm pretty impressed with the build quality. So I think we're ready to fire it up and do a test run. All right, found my first problem. I um, started the printer up and started the preheat sequence and um, was calibrating the XYZ and the extruder would move all the way to this side and then make a grinding noise like the end stop sensor wasn't going off. And then I tried to preheat and the bed preheated, but the extruder didn't. Well, first thing to do is check all your cables and cable E is over here on the side and it was tucked under the tower. It runs through, it runs through here and the end was underneath where I, was under here where I didn't see it, putting it together. So <clears throat> I missed a cable and so this would move because the motors are here and there and but none of the electronics on here were active so let's try that again We've got temp reading and we've got heat. So then we can go to filament load and we got to wait for that temperature to get up. Let's, let's see what that temp is. Preheat temp. So we'll have to wait a little bit. All right, so I've leveled the bed, which there's a, um, we're preheating right now, but there's a script here for leveling the bed. And what it does is it measures to this corner, like really close to the nut here and tells you to get it within one millimeter. 
and then it moves out and drops, moves out and drops, and it does it about, I don't know, two inches from the corners. And I used a business card and you just want it to drag just a little bit. You don't want it to pinch the card to where you can't move it. Um, and it walks you through, it goes, do this point, hit next, do this point. And then, you know, if it's not right, when you start printing, you just, you know, you're supposed to do these by quarter turn, these nuts here until it's right. Um, so we're gonna do a test print soon. All right, we got, we got filament. All right, moment of truth. Now with more light, there's our first print. Hard to see, but that looks smooth to me. We got that one little string right where it started but I think that's just a case of the platform being a little dusty and maybe some residue from the test print. Because I'm real happy with that glassy surface there. And my last printer. Mr. Printerbot over here is a very good printer, but I went cheap and I didn't buy the one with the heated build platform when I started out. And it is great for doing stuff like chess piece sized. But if you do big flat prints, like I've done some cosplay props for people, the edges curl. And that's why it lives in a heated build chamber. So I am super excited about this new printer and what it's capable of with its heated build platform. Also, the Monoprice extruder is capable of running things like flex filament that I couldn't do before.